a KQED HD production. I'm Dan Costa, professor of biology at the University of California in Santa Cruz. We're here in the Antarctic, McMurdo Station, to study these guys, the Woodell seal. This is as far south as you can get and still have a mammal. This whole area here is, is sea ice that's frozen. It's about four to five feet thick here. There's no other predators, no other uh, mammals in this area. That's why I can just come right up here and this animal is just sitting here, uh, not too worried about my presence. This is uh, early November, right in the middle of the breeding season. All around us are pups, probably less than a week old. That's the mother pup attraction call. That's how the mom talks to her pup to make sure it's her pup. And the pup will call back, and that call is unique to that pup. So whale seals are, are a very deep diving animal. They can hold their breath for about 20 minutes. They do dive well over 1,000 feet, uh, sometimes approaching 2,000 feet. We put satellite tags on them that uh, stay with them throughout the winter. And these tags will give us the diving behavior, where the animal goes, and information on the kind of habitats the Woodell seals dive in. Those data are transmitted to the satellite overhead. We can sit in our office back in Santa Cruz, connect to the internet, and then see what the animal is doing on any given day. It's hard to, to exactly say why science excites me the way it does, but I think it's figuring out things that nobody has figured out, how animals work, how animals survive in the Arctic. When you see these animals and you're freezing, you're all bundled up with all this clothing on and you're cold, and you see this Weddell seal just sitting there, totally comfortable, how could you not want to know how this animal does it? How does it live there? <laughs> 